North Korea reacts, Kim furious with Trump terror sponsor label you'll be responsible. The Hermit Kingdom claimed the US will be responsible for the consequences of the provocation and vowed to strengthen its arsenal of deadly nuclear weapons. A spokesman for the North Korean Foreign Ministry claimed on state propaganda mouthpiece KCNA the terror label was just a tool for American-style authoritarianism that can be attached or removed at any time in accordance with its interests. Yang Yang's warning comes amid rising tensions and threats from Kim Jong-un's regime lead the globe to the brink of World War III. Kim's spokesman claimed this was a serious provocation and violent infringement against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK. He added, as long as the US continues with its anti-DPRK hostile policy, our deterrence will be further strengthened. The US will be held entirely accountable for all the consequences to be entailed by its impudent provocation to the DPRK. President Trump placed North Korea back on a list of state sponsors of terrorism on Monday allowing the United States to impose more sanctions on the warmongering nation. The president said at the time. In addition to threatening the world by nuclear devastation, North Korea has repeatedly supported acts of international terrorism, including assassinations on foreign soil. This designation will impose further sanctions and penalties on North Korea and related persons and supports our maximum pressure campaign to isolate the murderous regime. US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson added. We still hope for diplomacy in the timing of this is just one of us concluding the process. There is a very specific designation progress that we have to go through at the State Department to meet the criteria for the designation. We wanted to make sure we had met all those requirements. Again this is all part of us continuing to turn this pressure up. At Royce, the Republican chairman of the House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committee, called the decision an important step in our efforts to apply maximum diplomatic and financial pressure on Kim Jong-un. However, Democratic Senator Edward Markey dismissed the designation, adding it ratchets up the rhetoric but does nothing to hold North Korea accountable for its weapons program. It was previously removed by George W. Bush during a failed attempt to salvage a nuclear deal with the rogue state that was on his axis of evil. Some experts including a former chief U.S. negotiator during the 1994 North Korean nuclear crisis, have warned it could be a miscalculation by Trump and just further cements a dangerous game of escalatory brinkmanship.